All right, good day, everybody. Uh, this is a very short introduction on mobile development uh, for the Android platform. Uh, and I'm going to take you through here in just a very few minutes, uh, a very brief overview. And I have a simple app prepared uh, to show you how to do it. So let's begin. Uh, you see the window right here. This is actually Android Studio. So Android Studio is an IDE, an integrated development environment uh, for creating mobile applications on the Android platform. Uh, it's a fully featured uh, IDE. It's got lots and lots of functionality. So let's just take a look. I've created a project here. And you see over here in the left, uh, there's a series of folders, and each folder contains material associated with the project. Uh, let's go down here, and here, here's the app folder. Let's open up this source folder, and if we look in main, notice there is a Java folder. So Android applications, for the most part, are written in the Java programming language. Uh, when you create a project in Android Studio, it creates this framework. It creates a template for you, and you can use it right away. So here is some Java code generated by this IDE, generated by the Android Studio integrated development environment. There's not much here right now. It's just a bit of a stub, but the idea here is it gets you set up, and from there you go and you create some applications. Now, in the simple application I've created, uh, one of the things you'll find in most mobile applications is the initial layout uh, is not done in a programming language. It can be done in a programming language, but the initial layout is often specified using extensible markup language, XML, and that is the case with Android projects. So I'm going to open this folder called Layout, and here there's a, a file called activitymain.xml. So we'll open that up and we'll see that there's lots and lots of XML code. Well, not too much. There's a little bit of XML code here. So let's go ahead uh, and take a brief look at this. So here is uh, what's referred to as an image view. An image view is exactly what it sounds like. It is an image an image that's going to appear in your mobile application um, and here below it uh, I have two text views uh, below it in the file not necessarily in the application uh, I have two text views and this is a birthday card this is a birthday card to Cooper from Ashley so notice here's a text view a text view is just a line of text and you can specify attributes about the text view. Uh, here's the text itself. It says, Happy Birthday, Cooper. Uh, here's the size, uh, 36. I've got some padding on the top and the left. Here I, set the uh, here I set the font. I give it an ID. Similarly, here is a text view. A couple more attributes here. Uh, the actual text is from Ashley. Uh, there's the size. Uh, panning on the top and bottom. So we lay this out in an editor. Suppose we want to see what it looks like. That sounds like it'd be pretty useful, yes? So there's this preview here, and here is what it would look like on a Nexus 4 device. And I appreciate this is pretty dark, but I'll show you a bigger version in just a second. Um, so here, uh, there's the image view. Here's the text view, Happy Birthday, Cooper. Here's the text view, Happy Birthday, Ashley. They're both uh, positioned on top of this image. And it's an image, you can see it's a bridge, an image of a bridge. Um, so <clears throat> this is giving me a preview of what it's going to look like. Now, I could develop this using a real phone, but suppose I didn't have a real phone available. Uh, what you can do is you can create 
an Android virtual device, or so-called AVD. Um, and here are a bunch of virtual devices uh, created. And this is actually a software, it's a software mobile device. Um, the thing that's really nice about these, uh, these uh, run the same code, uh, the same code and the same Android base uh, that your mobile device uses. So here right now I'm running a Nexus 5. Uh, what does all this mean? It means I'm running version 5.1 of Android on a, a x86 CPU. And here actually, so this is where I set it up. Here is the phone itself. So here is the soft phone itself. Now you can see uh, it looks in every way uh, like a real Android phone. Uh, it's not quite as responsive. Uh, you know, we're drilling through multiple layers of software here, but it's super handy and super useful. And you can see this is the real deal. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can open up a browser. Okay, so there it goes to the Google page, and let's do a search. Oh, uh, do not see. Uh, it was asking me if I wanted to install the, uh, the Google search app for Android. Uh, let's search for Android development. And I'll spell it correctly. And see, this is, this is the real deal. Um, it's a little slower than your cell phone. But it brings up this is this is actually a real so this is a real browser uh, running inside this emulated cell phone and it brings up all kinds of uh, all kinds of things for doing Android development so it is it is the real deal um, all right so let's go back what we're gonna go ahead and do we'll go ahead and run our mobile application uh, on this soft cell phone. So to do that, I'll put the, I'll bring it back in just a second. Note up here, I'm going to push this green button, run. And it's asking me what I want to run it on. I want to run it on this software cell phone. And let me take a look at this Android monitor here. So here, uh, this is a uh, monitor window. And it's actually deploy. It's building and deploying the application to the Android cell phone. I know if, don't know if you noticed. It said installing APK, uh, Android Package Manager, and here you go. It, it has. Uh, it's been deployed and it's launched on this software cell phone. So uh, this is a birthday card. Uh, to Cooper from Ashley, this bridge here, this is actually the, the, so this is Charleston, South Carolina. This is the Ravenel Bridge. It's over the Cooper River. Um, Charleston is a peninsula. The river on the other side of the peninsula is Ashley. So this is a birthday card from Ashley to Cooper over the Ravenel Bridge, uh, the Ravenel Bridge over the Cooper River. So uh, that's about it for uh, creating a quick application. I think you can see how simple, how quick and easy it is to do. Now, obviously, is there a lot more you can do with this powerful Android Studio? Of course, but here what we've done, we've actually created an application. I, and we used the framework created by the IDE, by the Android Studio IDE. And we actually didn't have to write any programming language code. We did everything in XML. Uh, you can take this a lot further, but this is a, this is a start. I hope this was useful to you. Uh, thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye for now.